The class of 2022 is celebrating. At most colleges, in-person commencements are back. And this week, a young whiz kid is among the new graduates. He's the subject of our weekend journal, reported by Caroline Cummings of our Minneapolis station, WCCO. That's pretty cool. Elliot Tanner is just like any 13-year-old. So I like to play Dungeons and Dragons with friends and sometimes also some video games too. Except for the fact that he can solve this. So I have an incredible passion for physics. It's been one of my favorite things to do. He's pursuing that passion at the University of Minnesota where he's studying for a bachelor's degree when most kids his age aren't yet in high school, keeping a 3.78 GPA and doing undergraduate research too. A neutrino is a tiny, fast-moving neutral particle that will go through about a light year of lead and hardly even interact with it. Wow. <laughs> and what we're trying to do is we're trying to detect those. When Elliot graduates this week, he won't be going far. He'll be back on campus in the fall for a PhD. How's it move? Yes, Asimov. If Elliot Tanner's story sounds like it's made for TV, in some ways it already is. Uh -huh. And I think the awesome thing about him is he is very, very smart, like possibly even smarter than Sheldon. Ian Armitage plays Sheldon Cooper, boy genius in Young Sheldon on CBS. But when the cameras aren't rolling, he calls Elliot a real boy genius, his friend. A bond formed when he came to visit the set and one that stayed strong since. Ian is such an amazing friend and he's so great to be around. The thing that I love about Young Sheldon and Big Bang Theory is it really makes being a nerd like Cool. When Elliot's done studying at the U, he dreams of once again returning, then as a professor to share his passion with others. I feel like I would love to be able to spread some of this joy for physics and enthusiasm for it around. Caroline Cummings, CBS News, Minneapolis. Being a nerd is definitely cool. Way to go, Elliot.